Alright, this is Chris with the YouTube channel usgalaxyS3.com and this is the Verizon version of the Galaxy S3 Ryan Beans stock ROM build 6. Uh, fresh reboot. We haven't installed anything except for these three benchmark tests. Um, I try to remind everyone that benchmarks are just a little uh, indicator, one single indicator of performance. Uh, might not reflect exactly every day uh, real usage. So first up to bat is Quadrant Advance. Go ahead and take it off of Wi-Fi for these first two. And I'll put it in airplane mode. Through power we can turn on airplane mode. Alright, so we'll run the full benchmark. I'll actually let you guys watch this in its entirety. And then the second run, I'll just call out the scores. For those of you that don't know anything about this ROM, I'll go ahead and put a direct link to the XDA thread about it in the section below. If you guys want to see me run anything on this ROM, please be sure to leave a message. Uh, it's based off of No Sympathies, Deodex, OTA, Victor Romeo Alpha Lima Golf 1, I'm Oceans 12-2 Lean Kernel, overclockable to 1.9 GHz, Mod 9 style K-Exec, rethemed to be a little ICS jelly bean light, AOSP looking, CRT off animation, so go to the little CRT screen, I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, says your device 4708 looks like a good score CPU 8498 memory 4646 IO 7198 2D 980 3D 2220 uh, that's a little CRT off animation right there go ahead and run this one more time all right second run 4477 CPU 7977, memory 4162, IO 7029, 2D 980, 3D 2237. We'll go ahead and move on to Linpack for Android. Inconsistent result. Second run 192.103, time of 0.88 seconds. Second run with consistent results, 177.918, time of 0.95 seconds. I'll go ahead and run Nina Mark 2. Best result I've gotten on this device so far, I believe, is 58.7. It's probably with stock. I'm going to go ahead and run it. Enabled all rotation, CPU script, Wi-Fi tether, removed annoying location icon, took out fading, increasing ringtones, enabled Verizon's mobile hotspot, custom boot animation, support, true init D script, Wi-Fi tether and mobile hotspot both work, more icons and launcher, took out Verizon mobile hotspot and backup assistant from settings. Alright, the result was 58.7 frames per second. Run it one more time. AOSP keyboard. Added ringtones. Native call recording. Jelly bean animations. Center clock flashable mod. Theme toggles and batteries. Customized toggles. 4-way reboot menu, zip align, Bravia engine, remove carrier label. A lot of apps installed to data for easy removal. 50 gigabyte free Dropbox. Alright, second result 58.7 frames per second. 
And the last thing we're going to do is run browser mark. Alright, that yielded a test of 113,876. So over the next few days I'll probably uh, use this ROM and before we install another one I will give you a few brief words on what I thought of it. Please like this video, it really helps out a lot, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.